make some noise in this building right about now for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. How many of y'all know that he's an awesome God? No matter what situation you go through, he's got to bring you out. I don't care if you fail today. He's a redeemer of the people. He didn't come for himself. He came to redeem his people. We was out of fellowship with him, but he sent his son to redeem his people. I'm on fire right about now. Because the Lord has been taking me to a whole totally different level. When you submit it to a, a, a pastor who's going higher, and as I'm looking at him going higher, he's not one of them type of pastor that just goes by himself. He's always reaching back to bring the people with him. That's the fellowship of discipleship. When you learn how to make disciples, these are the things that goes on in your life. You begin to like forget situations and have you like, man, that's nothing. That ain't nothing. What he did on the cross was everything for us. But we as a people need to learn how to just to understand that the race is already run on. We got to do it just walk. Oh my God. I got this so serious. I've even hurt people. I thought I loved the most. I tried to love them with my gift. It was the wrong approach. When I was going with you, it was just a hard with me. Because you carried me on the field, you never fought with me. You never set me down. Never threw me away. You gave me good and nice. I can see the brighter days. They didn't kill me, though. It only made me wiser. Made me a little stronger. Took my faith a little higher. That's why I trust you. You know it and don't leave you alone But break my life in your hands So see it, Daddy, oh I need you, oh
that your situation ain't even big enough. God is bigger than any situation that you're going through right now. Just because he's God, it ain't got nothing to do with you. having abortion or whatever it may be suicide I don't know just deal with me with killing with, with, with death right now suicide abortion are you thinking about doing something bad to somebody God said let it go right now vengeance is mine says the Lord God is saying right now the situation that you thought that you was going to get yourself into, he going to send a way of escape. Just because you showed up here tonight on faith and believing that something and expecting something is going to happen to you, he going to separate that situation from your life. I dare you to believe it. Even somebody is getting ready, getting somebody dealing with cancer, you know somebody dealing with cancer. God said, believe me, for I am the Lord thy God. He don't put sickness on his people. That's from the devil. The one man said came death. To another man came righteousness. God don't put sickness on his people. Separate yourself from some people. I'm telling you. Evil communication corrupts good manner. You got to let some people go. I don't even know who I'm talking to. But those people in your life only keeping you away from your destiny. Abraham could not take everybody to the hill with him. He had to go to the hill and worship for himself with him and his son. He had too many people telling him, wait a minute, dog. He said, wait a minute, but I'm going to believe God over you, homie. And then for those who are going through, get like Job. Job didn't complain. He got down and worship. And worship ain't just the song. It's your lifestyle. It's whatever you want to give the Lord. You give the Lord with your full heart. Oh, my God. I pray right now that any situation that you're going through would just, would just devour which dissolve, I mean, like an Alka-Seltzer. You put it in a little water, when Alka-Seltzer get in water, it just start to dissolve. Pick your situation up that you're going through right now. Pick it up like this. Now drop it in the water. Watch it dissolve. 